my friends and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming and today's video is sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms and I want to show you when my city got rallied not one time, not two times, but three times in the safety of our territory and with allies nearby. Now, if you wanted to avoid taking these rallies, you could obviously just switch tags, but I felt really, really safe even though I have my best set of gear on a garrison captain in a flag on the front line. I have enough captains at this point that I also was like, all right, fine, I'll take a rally. So my Xeno Flav is somewhere else on the front uh, with all my crit iconic gear, and I've got some pretty solid gear, a few iconics on my set for defending my city. So I'm using YSS and Theo here, which I think is still probably the best way to defend your city if you were to take a rally like this. And I am obviously very, very safely tucked away in the comfort of territory, as I was saying, and also the comfort of having field. So my allies are reinforcing my city, and this obviously is going to be a very one-sided report. I will say that watching all these city rallies, I think that the Boudicca with Nebu pairing was really, really solid. And Boudicca with Nebu is, is really strong. I will say also Henry with Nebu has just like shocking counterattack damage. It's in some ways, I'm starting to see how it is like an Attila, Takeda, four archers, but no rally that is getting zero reinforcements is going to do well here. So I'm going to have an extremely positive trade here. My hospital's going to get a little bit of attention, and the majority of this is dead troops for the rally, and a few people presumably reinforced with siege in my city. Now, at this point in the KVK, I had not actually retrained the 60 million power, so um, that video, by the way, I'll have a card up in the top. You can check that out where, in a live stream, I gained 60 million power, won the Zenith of Power city theme. Also, I get some extra resources here and speed ups for taking a rally on my city. I have to say, taking on a taking a rally on your city is the most advantage defensive scenario, and I think these guys know this is not going to go well. Like, they have to know. Chisco's online. They have to know. I am very much interested, interested in recording what's happening. Like, I am pretty hyped to see this go down. So now we've got a Pakal Herald, and it's pretty wild watching the Pakal Herald side by side, or shortly after, watching the Boudicca with Nebu because you can see like yes it does have really good anti-swarm but no I would not say it's as good of a rally it's a way you can get rid of some infantry but really Pakal Herald is an extremely outdated rally uh, as far as rallies go it's one of the only combos that really hasn't gotten a new sort of what I call mythic tier commander to go and support it so to explain that just a little bit further, when we look at the other rallies, you've got commanders like Nevsky, who is what I would consider to be the sort of the first mythic tier commander that made their way into the game. Obviously, Boudicca, Prime, and Henry are mythic tier, uh, but this rally has sort of the old school quality of commander of Pakal and Harold, and it just doesn't do all that much. And honestly, Pakal's a little bit disappointing. Like, yeah, he's a good cheeseburger commander, but he's just... um. Not all that exciting for swarming garrisons as well. He's, he's just too much with rallied troops. So I'm very much eager for when I can start launching rallies again as an infantry player. It's been a bit of a bummer that all I can do is garrison. Granted, it is a good garrison. You can see my gear very briefly on screen again. It's backup stuff. I don't have a crit leadership set. It is what it is. It's good enough. I have only two iconics. I will say the whole iconic system does disadvantage city defense because you basically can have a rally that has entirely boosted iconic stats which are extremely powerful um and then your city even if you are boosting iconic stats it's only for one troop type so i feel like maybe that could get a look at for or maybe they could look at that for you know how that works for city defense but as far as i'm concerned this gives people that are attacking cities a slight edge over what they used to have by the way at this point in the kvk i am absolutely max tech and I'll show you in just a minute, we'll get a closer look at some of these reports and try to speculate as to whether or not these players doing the rallies also have max tech. So I think not only do I have a slight tech advantage, um, I certainly have the 3% all damage boost uh, from winning Eva the Crusade. That's a nice little buff. Uh, and here is yet another Pakal Herald on my city. I'm like, at this point, I've got the Duke. I've got a rune. I have a 10% token. My commander tab is set. I have the 8% city, or I guess um, troop defense city theme. So that's benefiting all troop types. 
I do lose 10% cav attack, which is a little bit of a bummer, but obviously for defending a city, this is just exactly where you want to be. And why is this uh, Theo just bringing a ton of stats? Now, you will definitely notice that compared to when I have been rallied in the past, when I have more power, I'm doing way less damage. And I think that around the 200,000 power mark, or I guess 200 million power mark, is where you stop seeing big gains by having even more troops. And yes, your skill damage will go up and up and up. But it's around that 200 million power mark um, where I think that the game starts to constrain how much normal and counterattack damage you're ultimately doing. Now, it's obviously still a big number, okay? My city is reinforced here. So uh, I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out that if you want to see really, really high skill damage, I'll have a card at the end of this video and up in the top now. I'll remind you about it later uh, that just has astronomic skill damage, like 200,000 plus, as opposed to peaking around 150,000, which is what I did here. Uh, so here you can see 50K worth of uh, reinforcements died. The enemy had over 700,000 troops die, which is insane. I got caravans, which is huge upside. So not only am I getting resources and speed ups back, people reinforcing or even getting some troops back in the mail. Um, not only are these reports massively positive, um, but also the ratio with which troops die for us is even advantaged for the people that are reinforcing. So defending a city is a huge win, especially if you can take it with extreme safety like I did here. Hospitals even only got 205,000. Heck, at one point I scouted to get War Frenzy to make sure I'd have extra buffs. But let's look at the stats now. Now you have to pardon my dust a little bit here. The screen is tinted ever so slightly yellow and I couldn't figure out why. I was trying to see if I could stream from my Android tablet. It's a Galaxy Tab S8. And weirdly enough, now my capture card from Elgato is showing up with this weird yellow tint. So uh, I got to get a solution for that. But Let's just get a look at these reports here really quickly. The 50,000 dead to the 788,000 dead is insane, but the troop stats are what I want to see. The all damage really tells the tale here. So this rally lead does not have max tech for sure, which means they're definitely missing the swarm tech at the end. They're missing the all damage from morale, which is a really big deal. So th this is not a great situation for them. They really shouldn't be running this rally, um, but... If we look at my stats here, you can see for any one troop type, they're not actually not all that impressive. You've got this YSS Theo combo elevating the stats of all troop types, however, which is kind of a big deal. And for what it's worth, does, this doesn't include the conditional buffs that YSS, for example, is giving. So if we look at the expertise skill, this extra 40% of stats when you have two different troop types, this is applying, but it applies in the detailed turns of the log not in this portion of the log. So I do actually have an additional 20% to attack for all troop types, an additional 20% defense. It's a lot of stats. Now, you could make an argument that moving all in on a garrison that uses a troop type primary, so for example, like Xeno, would be pretty solid for city defense. I think that would be my number two choice, Xeno YSS. And for the same reason that Xeno YSS is really good for just dumping troops into a flag, and if people send the wrong troop type, it's not the worst. Um, it applies for defending your city. This comes primarily from the fact that although Zeno does give infantry stats, she does do a really nice job boosting all damage, uh, and that is really important for making multiple troop types be effective. And then YSS is, of course, an all-rounder. Here's another Pakal Herald with 35,000 dead for the reinforcers in my city, and... Uh, almost 600,000 dead for the rally here. If we get a look at the troops, you can see I'm pretty heavily reinforced. And uh, this is how you kill Siege, by the way. Especially considering that I'm using YSS and Theo. I mean, you want to dump Siege in this city. And just, this is how you purge them. The, the very best way in the game. You're literally getting stuff back for doing that. But if we look at the troop buffs, we scroll on down to the all damage. 0% all damage tells a really terrifying tale. So not even VIP 17 on this rally is going to be just like a huge, huge problem for the effectiveness of the rally. And then one last report on my city that we can get a look at here is the Budokan Nebu. This player, I think, had some better tech, so let's just confirm that really quickly. We scroll on down, and there you can see they've got 18.5% all damage. So they certainly have more tech than the other players that I've been showing you. And it showed, by the way, in the sort of caliber of this rally. Um, it's still a two-for-one trade in my favor, but they ran it down to zero, pretty much. So... That, I think, is the bigger issue with the quality of this trade looking like it is, with the 46,000 dead for the people reinforcing, and then 662,000 dead 
for the rally itself, right? In general, I would say that Theodora is really not a commander worth investing in at this point in Rise of Kingdoms. There was a time where she was viable in a garrison, and I guess now there are things you can do to sort of use her and get value. For example, in my restart project, we used her specifically because of her debuff clearing, um, and we had a heroic anthem support skill um, from Tommy, boosting the skill damage you take. So yeah, running in with Theodora and being able to clear that is absolutely amazing. That comes from her active skill. But otherwise, she's just extremely underwhelming for anything except defending your city. And even there, she's fine, but not amazing. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend any sculptures into Theodora in 2022. Maybe they'll put out a leadership-based commander. I thought they were going to put out some leadership-based garrisons this last commander cycle. And instead, we got Joan Prime. So if you're looking for more information about Joan Prime, I'll have a build guide that'll show up over here in just a minute in the end credits. And if you want to see a time where I got rallied and I did absolutely massive damage, and I really like the editing on that video, that card will show up up top in just a minute.